Hi, I'm Chloe McCracken, creator of the transformative soul picture process. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to do a kind of breathing called balance breathing, or sometimes known as heart math breathing. This kind of breathing is extremely effective at very quickly helping you to achieve a kind of flow state, one where you feel both focused and calm. It's a great practice for when you want to actually draw a soul picture so that you can be in touch with your creativity and your imagination from the very first second, feeling clear-sighted and engaged with what you're doing. Heart math breath is deceptively simple. The basic premise is just that you need to breathe in on the same count that you breathe out and not hold your breath in either direction. The sweet spot is, theoretically and according to science, six seconds in and six seconds out. So I encourage you to try to do that, but if you are a bit less, a bit more, what have you, it really doesn't matter so much as actually balancing the in-breath and the out-breath, because it's through that balance that you are balancing out your autonomic system. You're balancing the inhale, which is more exciting, and the exhale, which is more calming, so that you have that optimum state of being engaged, but still being calm. So it's not about being completely relaxed. It is about being in an optimum state for creativity, for decision-making, for almost anything in your life, really. And so it's a breath that I recommend to absolutely everyone and for you to practice at almost any time. Uh, you can't really practice, at least not with the six inhale and six exhale while you're doing some sort of cardio exercise, but you can do it in a lot of other situations. So give it a try. And I also encourage people to try doing this breath at different times throughout the day. It doesn't just have to be when you want to go into a meditative state or into a creative state. You can do it while you're in the bathroom or when you're brushing your teeth. You can do it while washing the dishes. It's just a, a really good thing to practice as often as possible so that you get used to the breathing, so that it comes more naturally to you and so that your body remembers how to do it and can do it almost automatically. So let's just have a very quick practice. And so I'll show with my hand breathing in and breathing out. So get yourself ready, back as nice and straight as possible and breathing in. It really is that simple. So as I say, I invite you to practice this anytime, anywhere. 